Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon Black Wedlock Challenge. In the last episode, we fought off against Gym Leader Elisa, who everybody in the comments thought I was doomed for. And we came out on top with no deaths once again. We are four gyms in and not a single Pokemon has died yet. I would love to keep it that way, but you never know what's going to happen. Umber came through for us really hardcore in that gym fight, and I'm really proud of him for sure. And in this episode, we should be able to do everything with Indra Fail City and go ahead um, down to the cold store, down to the cold storage, and meet up with Clay and Charon and see what's going on. Because I think he said we he needs our help down there last episode. So if we come into this building, I don't think there's anything in this building in black and white. But in black and white, so why, why is my text speed low? Oh, she's an old lady. That's right. That's such a cool detail. I love that. Does the old guy talk fast? Yeah, he's fine. Why? This is discrimination. Old women can't talk fast, but old guys can go like, hum, hum, hum. <laughs> He's not an old guy. That's why, because he's a gentleman. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's a gentleman. Old guys are different looking, I think. Yeah, we're good. All right, what's this guy say? Living is using the time given to you. You cannot recall lost time. Don't forget that. That guy is deep. Holy crap, that is some deep shenanigans. Do you think all people in the world can understand one another? No. <laughs> but yeah, I say yeah. Um, yeah, I can't understand somebody talking like... <laughs> I don't know what any of those Japanese people say. That's why I'm playing an English cartridge, my friend. But hey, if you can, I guess some people can understand everybody if you are bilingual. If you know all of the lingual all of the linguals, yeah? Yeah? Huh? It doesn't make any sense, but hey, it's just the game theory. No, but seriously, so, uh, if we go down here, I think there's a guy that gives us a great ball for a Pokeball. I think it's this shady looking dude. What's up, my friend? The reason I'm hanging around is because I want to hang around. Oh, my Pokemon just knew surf I could go on top of the water. Yes, yeah, so this guy tells me about surfing, which we can do later on in the game. I can grab myself a Frillish here or an Alola Mola. If you want to go ahead and do that. Uh, ooh, Charles. Do we get him done with? I fight everybody. He's considered as a trainer of death, if you want to call him that. I fight everybody. I could just skip him. He's completely not required. But if you go in a side building right here, you can grab TM64 Embargo? Oh, that's black and white, too. I'm completely losing my mind. So you just grab a, a big pearl here. But in black and white, too, you can grab Embargo there. I'm not sure if it's 64 or 63, or I'm completely wrong. Uh, this little girl's like, have you ever battled the Elite Four of the Pokemon League? Only three times on the channel, little girl. We've come out on top all three times. Well, don't if you don't count Johto, but... Hey, we, we lost and then we won. It's the same thing. Whatever. So we come up here, we can grab a hidden item in the, in the floor. It's gonna be next to this girl. Lady, you dropped your heart scale! What are you gonna do about it? You, I'm just gonna take it. You didn't see anything, right? She's all sold out. The Charles guy bought everything he had. Well, you, he dropped one. If if that's indeed what you sell, lady. Did you sell it? Oh my god. Charles is a heartbreaker. This girl sells heart scales. He takes the hearts and he breaks them. I figured out Charles' secret. Yes. No, I don't know what a heartbreaker is. But I, I assume in a Pokemon game, it's not what I'm thinking. He probably takes heart scales from this lady and breaks them. That's the best thing I've ever thought of. Wow, that's almost as cool as the rock and roll in the crust. When they evolve, it makes earthquakes. I'm all about game theory today. Wow. He breaks the heart. I'm making a game theory video about Charles. No, but seriously, these guys uh, sell the revival medicines and the bitter medicines that your Pokemon aren't going to like you very much. So I don't use those. But this guy, if you show him a Pokemon level 30 or higher, he'll give you an expert belt. We don't have one yet, but we will come back when we have a level 30 Pokemon because the Expert's Belt is really cool, and it'll be useful for the gym. I'm going to be using that on the Pokemon I am using for the gym. So, this girl is the most important NPC in the entire game. She sells you Moo Moo Milk, and she comes straight from the farm. So, I'm going to go ahead and buy some Moo Moo Milk. I didn't mean to buy one. Who buys one Moo Moo Milk? Nobody! Let's buy, like, five dozen. That'll last me the whole game. 
So I'm gonna speed that up really quick. We're gonna grab one dozen. We're gonna go ahead and grab two dozen. I don't think I can afford five dozen, but I'm gonna try and buy five dozen of these moo moo milks. Yeah, we can't afford five dozen. Well, I can buy two more dozen. That would make five dozen, but I would be very broke and my pennies would be literally a dime a dozen. <laughs> And I don't know what that saying means, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have anything to do with how much money one has. It might! It might! I have no idea it doesn't matter. But the people in the comments can inform me what that saying actually means. And you know what? We did buy five dozen, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Now you might be thinking, why are you spending all your money on the Moo Moo Milk? Now, because it's incredible. I have 62 Moo Moo Milk. That's going to last me the whole game. You can use that for whatever you want. It's so cheap. I use it for everything. I love me some Moo Moo Milk. So we're going to go and buy lots of Moo Moo Milk. So, here's the question. <laughs> Is Charles a triple battle trainer or a rotation battle trainer in black and white? I'm pretty sure it's a triple battle, and I don't like it. I'm a heartbreaker. I break heart scales. My name, Charles. I wanted to get the attention of a girl I like, so I bought all the heart scales in that shop and broke them. And then I learned a new style of battling. It's rotation battle, yes. Okay, so this is a lot easier. Triple battles are very dangerous because all three Pokemon can gang up on the one in the middle. But rotation battle is a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and plan out my team to fight him. It's tough. Uh, who do I want to fight? I know what he has. So we can plan that to our advantage. I know he has a Tortuga, an Arcan, and a Sigilith from memory. I don't look this up, as always. So, he's scary. Big time. Aqua Pearl should be able to handle him. That's something I wanted to bring up. Aqua Pearl is going to be our main Pokemon for the gym. Yeah, Aqua Pearl can take him on. Okay, and I'll put Midnight in the third reserve just in case these two happen to die somehow. But what I wanted to bring up is Aqua Pearl is our fight fighter for the gym. I'm not going to say exactly what Pokemon he has, just in case you don't know. But I know I'm going to want Grass Knot on Aqua Pearl. So what I'm going to do is give Grass Knot Aqua Pearl instead of Return. I can always reteach Return. Ah, reteach, return, return, return to the move set. Eh? So Grass Knot's going to be really good, and that'll be really good against uh, Tortuga, if that is actually the Pokemon that he has. So with that being said, we're going to fight against Charles, the Heartbreaker. We finally know his secret on what heartbreaking actually means. You know, I've broken lots of hearts in my life, and they all were scales. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Yeah, we get your deal, dude. So he wants to show us the rotation battle. In a rotation battle, you send out three Pokemon at the same time in battle. One Pokemon takes the lead position, and the other two stand on the side. The trick is, each turn, you can change their positions. And that is the rough explanation of a rotation battle. I'm a heartbreaker. My name is Charles. Yes, I will fight you in a rotation battle right now. So, let's fight Charles. He's always a full throttle. On those heart scales. Yeah? No, but seriously. Um, I keep saying that. That's like my thing. Anyways... Charles has a Crocorock, Basculin, and Zebstrika. What? Okay, that's not what I thought. Level 27. Holy crap. Aqua Pearl can't do this. Oh, dear God. My heart. I'm going to lose Aqua Pearl and Moonstone. Literally all three of those Pokemon dumpster truck Moonstone. Oh, God. Okay, the rule of a rotation battle in a wedlock is you can only rotate to the Pokemon leading, meaning Aqua Pearl and Moonstone have to do this fight alone, or they will die. So, he's leading with Crocorock. The strategy in this is he's going to switch to whatever can fight the Pokemon up front, ideally, meaning he's going to switch into Zebstrika. I have to go to Moonstone. It's going to blast me with some Electric-type attack, and I've got to put it to sleep. That's... Or Lucky Chant might be a good idea. That's what I'm going to do because then I want to switch to the Crocorock or the Basculin in which I can Scald. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, Moonstone, I need you to take the front and use Lucky Chant. Oh, dear God. Don't use Crunch. Don't use Crunch. Don't use Crunch. <sighs> take down. Okay, that's going to do a lot of damage. That's going to do a lot of damage. Holy crap. All right, Lucky Chant. That's going to protect us from critical hits, meaning we should be safe. Now, I'm thinking this Basculin's either going to go for Crunch... Or it's going to switch to the Crocorock. Crocorock makes the most sense. In that case, I'm going to switch into Aqua Pearl and you Scald. Please rotate. 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 Okay, no. It's going to go for Crunch. Oh, God. I'm so scared. This is not good. I did not choose to... Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Yes. Okay. Basculin is burned. Takedown's going to do virtually no damage. Okay. Now he's probably going to switch into Zebstrika. Regardless, I don't think it can do enough damage to take Moonstone out here. I really want Moonstone to be able to get to its full potential and evolve into Musharna one day. 
but I have to make it to level 37. I set that goal, and that's what's got to happen. So, Moonstone, you need to come in, and you need to use... Mm. There's no reason for it to go to Croc Rock. I'm going to switch in, and I'm going to go for Psybeam. If it goes to Croc Rock and uses a Dark-type attack, it outpredicted me, and we lose Moonstone here. Mm. Do I put him to sleep? You know what? I'm going to go for Hypnosis. Do I... Yeah, Psybeam's... Hmm... Okay, I'm gonna go for Psybeam. If it goes to Croc Rock, they outpredicted me and we lose Moonstone. There's nothing else I can say about it. Moonstone, you gotta come in command! Come on! Yes! Okay, Aqua Jet's not gonna kill. It's burned. You can't crit. We're set. Okay. Psybeam. Take that Basculin out of here. Okay. That's one Pokemon down. Now, I'm... Obviously, he's going to go into Croc Rock. It's the only thing that makes sense. If they stay in and use Electrohip Attack... They outpredicted me, and there's nothing that I could have done. Do I use Worka? Hmm. I don't think I can one-shot Zebstrika, but I'll keep the boost during the battle. Oh, God, Moonstone's really close to dying here, and I can't heal because it's going to get to jump on Aqua Pearl with Electro-type attack. Healing is going to do nothing but hurt me. What do I do here? Alright, I know he's going to switch to the Croc Rock. It only makes the most sense. In that case, I'm going to go for Scald with Aqua Pearl. Don't stay into that Zebstrika. He did! Oh my god, if it goes for an Electro-type attack, we're done. Spark! Oh my god, we're going to have our first death. Aqua Pearl, come on! Oh, oh my god! Aqua Pearl, yes! Okay. I outsped. Scald takes it out. Scald takes Crocorock out. They don't have priority. I, if I heal, we're just going to be in a constant loop. It didn't paralyze me. We are faster unless it's a speed die. Aqua Pearl, you've got to make it out of this alive. You need to go for Scald. Yes, it's going to switch. We've got to dumpster this Crocorock or it's over. You've got to dumpster this thing or it is over. Yes. Oh my god. Aqua Pearl, you take a spark to the face. All right, Midnight's going to get some collateral and grow to level 28 there. Holy crap. Unless this thing knows priority. I don't think it gets priority attacks. Unless we are speed tied, we have this. Come on! Yes! All right, I don't like to hand these out constantly, but Aqua Pearl, you did an incredible job. You are the first female. No, you're not, actually. You are the your next Pokemon to grab one of these. Oh, man, Aqua Pearl. That was really close. I thought you were dead for sure. Spark from that Zeb Strike out you tanked. That was just a little bit of health left. Wow. I did not expect to see those three Pokemon. I know in Black and White 2 he does have Arkan, Tortuga, and Sigilyph. That caught me off guard. Wow. That was close. Oh, buddy. Holy crap. Aqua Pearl. Man, it's like when you don't have any deaths in a series, everybody's had a close call pretty much. Um, what do you want, lady? What do you want? Um, okay, we have attract. Sure, Servine attract, and she'll give me a heart scale, I think. Yeah, so, maybe this is the lady that gives heart scales out. I don't know. Why is a heart scale so important? They don't matter until we get to Mastron City. I don't want to hear it. No. But, everybody's almost died, pretty much, on the team, except for Moonstone. Moonstone's had a close call, too. But, when nobody dies, everybody's had a close call, which is really interesting, um, this house is one of my favorite houses in the game. No, the next house. That guy was talking about Pokemon can evolve when they're traded, which is definitely possible. And over in this house, I believe, there is something really special. This boy right here. If you talk to this guy, he wants to trade a Basculin for your Minchino. Now, traded Pokemon are allowed in a Wedlock or Nuzlocke. In-game trades are anyways. This guy gives me a Shell Bell. That might be interesting at some point. I can't think of anything um, right now that would be able to benefit from it, but it's good to know. But I do allow in-game trades if I'm not playing with a naming theme, or if it's in a Nuzlocke, or a Wedlock too, I guess you could do. But since I have a naming theme, um, the Pokemon that I get doesn't fit it, so I don't allow it. But you can definitely allow traded Pokemon, and I've done... Okay, I was like, what? I What? That was so confusing. I've actually taken that trade. In the original Nuzlocke, my first ever Nuzlocke I ever did, the one I refer to that I did on Black, 
I did do that trade, and that was my best Pokemon I ever used. Do not knock it. If you don't want to use a Minchino, trade it away. Use that Pokemon. He will give you a Basculin in Pokemon Black, named Blue Eye. And in Pokemon White, he'll give you one named Red Eye. I'm kind of OCD. I didn't like the way Blue Eye was named, so I actually went on my White, took the trade for Red Eye, and then took that one instead. They're the same thing, but... I just wanted that one because it was cool. I liked Red Eye a lot better. So I used Red Eye, and that was by far my favorite Pokemon that I used in the entire game. I did lose him to Bianca's Musharna, but he was the MVP of my entire playthrough, and I will never forget that Basculin. So definitely, if you're playing along and you have a naming theme, consider getting that Basculin. It's really cool. And it's a great counter for Clay because you can't get a Basculin normally at this point. Uh, I thought I should point that out. This guy's not a trainer, but he will give you an incredible item. He'll grab, give you the Rocky Helmet. Insane item. Very good. You might want to give this to a Pokemon, and I'm going to do the same. Not too sure who I want to give it to. It'll be good to give to uh, Moonstone when he evolves, but as of right now, obviously, he's needing that Eviolite. But normally somebody who's pretty tanky. N nobody that I want to give it to right now, I don't think. Umber, maybe... Hmm. Umber's still good with the Quick Claw. I'm going to let that slide for a little bit, but I definitely want to consider that at some point. Okay, um, we're going to fight all the trainers in the cold storage. I know... Oh, I hate when I do that. It's so annoying. Uh, I know this trainer actually has a Whirlipede. I remember this by heart, so I'm going to go ahead and fight him with Sky, I think. Sounds like a good idea. And I'm pretty sure he has a Whirlipede. Either that or I'm remembering this is where Maryland's Whirlipede evolved. One of the two, but this area is telling me Whirlipede, so let's fight him. Workers carry Pokemon in loads. I'm a youngster. I'm close to my Pokemon. Well, this doesn't make any sense. Why are you talking about workers? You're not a worker. You're a youngster man. And you're a youngster man named Kenneth. Kenneth, do you have any concerns? No. I make references that nobody gets. That's a RuneScape reference. There's a quest named Kenneth's Concerns. I'm serious. I, I just... I just... I, I babble. You should be used to this by now. So yeah, he does have a Whirlipede. I was right about that. So we're going to Air Cutter. It's going to take two hits. Hopefully we don't get poisoned. Probably going to be poisoned. Didn't get poisoned. Very surprised. But Air Cutter's weak. I don't think we get another flying type attack for a while. But I think we might be able to grab Air... Not Air Cutter. I might be able to grab Aerial Ace coming up. And here's a Carol Blast. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'm fine fighting that. Um... Speaking of Carablast, um, this is the only Pokemon somebody requested to be named a certain color. And we might get Carablast this episode, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not probably not going to take any requests. I don't know. I guess you still could. I asked for some on the first episode. But if you have a favorite Crayola Crayon or anything that you want named after a Pokemon specifically, um, suggest it and I might. Um, but I'm gonna, if, I, if I get a Carablast, it'll be named after that guy's color, so that's pretty cool. Alright, here is a Hyper Potion. Uh, that's pretty cool. What do you have to say? For a few loads, send it by Pokemon. For a lot of loads, send it by ship. Use the best me best method for your needs. Is there a Mew under here? Probably not. I'm probably just spazzing. There's a truck. Okay, um, what does this guy have? We can fight him with Moonstone. Moonstone's been kind of baby lately because I just want to make him evolve. I could evolve him, sure, but he won't have Psychic, and that's a pretty big deal, so... If he's going to be here for the long haul, he's getting a good attack. That's all I can say about it. So, this guy's dad works for the gym, apparently. Albert! I was going to make a joke, but I'm not, I'm not going to do it. Everybody can. Everybody knows what joke I was going to make. It's going to be an obvious reference. Yeah, yeah this guy has a Joltik, of course. It knows Bug Bite, so we're definitely not staying in here. Oh. Why is everything good against these two? Um... Bug Bite's gonna truck me. There's no... Is it? Like, what's my defense? Pretty bad, I think. I have the Eviolite. <sighs> That's tough. Fine. I'll stay in, and I'm gonna go for Lucky Chan. No, I'm gonna go for Hypnosis. Don't do it. Oh, now we're not staying in! Screech, and then Bug Bite? That will literally ruin my life. So we're gonna get out. We at least got to put it to sleep, so maybe that'll make Aqua Pearl be able to handle it just a little bit better. Pretty sure it's only electric type attack at this point in the game would be Electro Web, which isn't very strong. So, I'm not really worried about the damage that it could do to Aqua Pearl. It's a pretty weak Pokemon at this stage. I love Joltik. I would love to use a Galvantula, but 
at this point, it's not very good. So I should be okay. And we probably will get a Joltik for the Charged Stone Cave. Although I want a Clink, but probably not going to happen. Anyways, Moonstone to level 29 wants to learn Nightmare. Wow. Nightmare? That's interesting. Um, basically inflicts damage every turn when the Pokemon's asleep. It's not a really good attack. Dream Eater's a lot better, and I guess we'll hold out until we get that. But I'm going to go ahead and not teach Nightmare. It's not worth one of our slots. And his next Pokemon's going to be a Dwebble. Everything, everybody has a Dwebble! <sighs> like, we're good to fight it with Aqua Pearl, but everybody in the game has a Dwebble. I don't understand. I want a Dwebble. Nobody lets me have a Dwebble. I can't get any more in this game because it... Burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. Yes. Kill it with a fire. What are you going to do, Dwebble? You're dead. You are 1 HP burned. Goodbye, friend. I just killed you with fire. You know how you always say, Oh my god, there is a bug. Kill it with fire. I just killed that bug. With fire. But not really. I burned it. Literally. Because I hit it with scalding hot water. Yeah, you get it? It's funny. Alright, um, it's not funny. What's funny about burning a little bug? That's, that's awful. Oh. Would you laugh if you threw scalding hot water on a bug? You know... I'm not going to lie, I've done that before. You know, when like there's a fly in the sink, you turn the water on really hot, you know, to get rid of it. That's the same thing as using Scald on a bug, right? Is there a fly Pokemon? There's not. There, there is. I'm, Yan Mega, Yanma, that's, that's a dragonfly. It's not the same thing. Whatever, this guy probably has, like, Vanillite, probably. Huh? Yeah, whatever, we'll bite him. Oh, he's not even a trainer. I get all hyped to fight a train. Not the bag. Mm, why? Every time I want the Pokemans. Because I'm not going to have Shamrock up front. Let's put... Mm, I can run into a Timber. Let's not do that. Uh, Moonstone can fight whatever we get. So my encounter here can only be one of two things. Um, a, a Vanillite or a Timber. I obviously want a Vanillite. Who doesn't? They're great Pokemon. They're really cool. They're cute. And I've got a great name for it. It's common. Timber is rare. And since I want the thing that's common, it only makes sense that we'll get the thing that's rare. So my encounter for the cold storage is going to be... Not a Herdier. We already have a Herdier, and its name is Umber. So this Herdier does not count. Please. Just... Just let me run away and give me a Vanillite. That's all I want. I want it so bad. I want to use a Vanillite. You're not going to let me run away? Are you kidding me? That did a lot of damage. Let me run away. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to use a Soda Pop. You might call me a baby. But if I run into another one of them and they bite me, I'm going to be in some deep, deep trouble. So, let's go and use a Soda Pop on my babe, Moonstone. Moonstone, what's up, bro? All right, so let's go. All I need. Give me a baby Vanillite. Just a cute little baby Vanillite. If you want to be a little generous, I'd take a pink Vanillite. I like I like pink pink ice cream. I don't like strawberry ice cream, but, you know, I like cotton candy ice cream. And I guess that's what a... I'm doing this so I don't run into an Audino or something silly. So, my encounter for the cold storage is going to be... No! A timber! Are you kidding? 15%! 15! What I wanted, like, 40! <sighs> Whatever. My encounter for the cold storage is a timber. That's fine. I love Conkelder. I love it. Tons. But this is the only game I can use a Vanillite in, because you can't get Vanillite until after the 8th gym in Black and White 2. Not gonna happen. So, no Vanillite for us. That's unfortunate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a Pokeball at this guy. Hopefully we'll, si hopefully we'll dunk him. Uh, it's nighttime, right? Let's just throw a dusk ball. I don't think it's night yet. No, it's not. It's 4:58 in the game. It's not nighttime, so I'm not gonna catch it. There's no way. Are you kidding me? I catch. It. Yeah, I caught. It. Wow. Cool. Wait. Yeah, it's definitely not considered nighttime yet. So, yeah, my encounter is a timber. I'm gonna go ahead and check my list for a Crayola Crayon nickname, and I will be right back. All right, guys. This is a gray and silver swirl color. I've actually used this name on a Pokemon in a wedlock I did in my own time, right before I started YouTube, and you can actually go ahead and find that wedlock. It was a Y wedlock on my Twitter. This Pokemon died in the Frost Cavern. Funny, because there's ice types in the cold storage. 
I guess it's an alternate universe because we're going to be using this name on this timber. Granite. So we have Granite, the timber. Can't be taking him for granted because I didn't want him. But hey, I'll take him. That's great. I love I love Kung Kelder a ton. I just kind of wanted to use a vanilla. And since it's not winter time, not going to happen. Because you can get one on another route in, in the winter, but it's not winter in the game. The next season that'll be winter will be December. But when I do black and white too, I'll probably set it to be the seasons that I, wa I didn't get in this game. So we can cover all the seasons, if that makes sense. I think that's a cool idea. Okay, and here's the doubles grass. There's a hidden item right here, and it's a dive ball. That's really cool. That'd be really cool on a vanillite. Okay. Um, what is this? Let's grab it after I put my Pokemon up front so I can fight that guy. He definitely has a timber. I'll fight him with Moonstone. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do Dowsing Machine. Grab this. It's a protein. Pretty cool. Oh, uh, speaking of, I used those wings we got on the bridge last episode. I used those on a couple of my Pokemon, so those are no longer in the inventory, if you noticed. That's why they're not there. I just went and threw, threw them on a couple Pokemon. They're not that great or anything. Okay, Worker Eddie has a Pan Sage. Where's Malcolm? Yeah, where's... Where's... What's his name? What was his name? Crap. Reynold! Where's Reynold and Malcolm, Eddie? Nobody's gonna get that. Like, maybe Wily? It's a, it's a survivor reference? I don't stop, guys. I have constant references. So, once again, another Pokemon we're weak to. Okay, that didn't do too much. Why do you flinch every time? Just hit. Okay. This is not gonna kill this Pansage. And it's gonna put me in an awkward situation. A crit kills... I say don't heal in case of a crit in a big fight, but we have nothing but healing items, and it's no big deal. We don't need all three items for this fight, so we should be fine. All right, healing up there was good, because it's going to use Fury Swipe. It's not going to do too much, and we should be able to survive a crit bite, should we have to. So now we can side beam take it out. Why are you using Fury Swipes? I don't understand. I don't understand your logic, Eddie. I just don't get it. Whatever. See you later, Pansage. What's next? A timber? A timber. Sweet. All right. So, here's the worry. It uses buy, but I have to attack. Okay. We're good. We're fine, guys. No reason to be worried. We're going to knock it out in one hit. Yes. See, Moonstone's not so inept. He's doing good. Like, I, I worry about him being inept because he's not evolved yet. Like, I love him. I want him to become a Musharna. That'd be so cool, but... No pun intended. I know we're at the cold storage. You fight me? No, you don't. Okay, I'm gonna do this really quick while I have my repel, and then I'll go back and heal. Violet! Do you think Team Plasma could be in there? I don't like cold places, but we have to check. What a bother. I hate Charon. He's so annoying. Just shut up. Like, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm mean to Charon. Whatever. Back here is another heart scale. Looks like Charles was doing something freaky back here. I don't want to ask, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up real quick. Okay, guys, inside the Pokemon Center, I want to go ahead and check out Granite really quick. Let me guess, another um, physical attack lowering nature, because that's the only thing we ever get on the good Pokemon, right? Looky there! Did I call it or did I call it? Minus attack! I'm done! Every Pokemon that attacks with physical attacks has a minus attack nature. Every time! I'm done. He has sheer force, at least. Which is better than Guts. So, well, in my opinion. It's a personal preference, I guess. Sure. We'll take a bold granite. I'm done, guys. I'm quitting the, quitting the challenge. I'll see you guys never. Alright, guys. Back in the cold storage. Well, not back in the cold storage. We've never been in the cold storage yet. So, let's go inside of the cold storage. It's about to get chilly, boys. Eh? Eh? Yeah? Anybody get it? No, but seriously, let's go. Yeah, Charon, you're going to do nothing. You're just going to stand here? Well, you see that guy? He's looking at you. He's looking at you. What are you going to do about it? You go what are you going to do about it? Huh? What are you going to do about it? This guy right here bumps into you and steals your girl. What are you going to do? It's a Twitter meme. Get hip, Charon. You know nothing. You're weak. You sicken me. All right, we're done. Oh, let's fight him. Moonstone's up front. Moonstone's up front. He's not even a trainer. Everybody... Ooh, there's an item. I know I can get it on the way out. It's a never melt ice, I think, but why not grab it now? It's a netball. That's pretty far off from a never melt ice, but hey, 
It's that's okay. All right, let's fight this guy. Wait, is there an item down there? There is. I never even knew that was there. I've never grabbed this item before. I swear. What is it? What? I've played black and white too this many times, and I never knew TM55 Scald was right here. That's like the best TM I could ever grab. Who can learn this? Probably just Aqua Pearl, but. Holy crap! Did anybody know this was here? I'm sure everybody did. What? That's mind blowing! I had no idea. Or maybe I did and I just completely forgot, but I don't think I ever picked that up in my life. Wow, take the anger out on this guy. When it's cold, wear a lot of clothes. You know, buddy? I know what you're saying. Like, all the people, like, in the Florida and the California areas might be thinking, what's cold? And I would say, I'm from Ohio, so about eight to nine months out of the year, I'm dressed up for the wintertime. Because that's like, we're in hibernation about ten months out of the year. That's that's cool, Victor. El Fit Vic, what are you going to do about it? Constant, constant Survivor Big Brother references that nobody understands. But that's okay. I know one of my viewers likes Big Brother, so I know one of my viewers is going to enjoy that. So let's... Mm, it crits me right here. It kills. Flame burst. That's gonna do what? Oh my god! Okay, I did nothing. We're good, guys. We're good. Clearly, I clearly have a problem with panicking. Like it's like, oh my god, it's gonna kill me, and it does like ten damage. That's why, like, my face is just like, why are you out speeding me? You're a timber. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand. Like, it just seems weird that Timber would be in the cold area. Like, I don't know. Why? I don't under, I don't get it. Like, I know they're workers, but it just doesn't make sense. You think you guys would have, like, Ice-type Pokemon. But you might be saying, Chroma, what do Ice-types do to build things? And I would answer to you, I don't know. <laughs> they don't, I guess. Whatever. All right, let's fight this guy. This guy looks snazzy. You ready to fight me, Brosif? Let's put a Moo Moo Milk on my Moonstone. I can't wait to evolve Moonstone. It's going to be so great. Moonstone's got some action this episode. A lot of people's favorite, but he never does anything because I baby him. But he's done some work today, guys. You should be proud of Moonstone. Everybody type Moonstone's professional in the chat. No, but seriously, what's this guy have? Glenn, another Big Brother reference. That guy's name was Victor. This guy's name was Glenn. Dude, anybody watch Big Brother 18? You guys have any idea? Glenn and Victor, and this guy's name is spelled like Glenn, and normally people don't spell Glenn with two N, huh? So this guy has a pan pour. The one guy had a pan seer. Let me guess, somebody's got a pan sage. It's only necessary. Like, if my best friend had a pan pour and his best friend had a pan seer, I'd have a pan sage. I'm just kidding, I would have an Arceus, so I can dumpster them. Everybody has timber. What is so cool about timber? I got a timber. You got a timber. Everybody in here has a freaking timber. I don't care about your timber. I'm on a side beam it and 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 it's dead. So it rhymed. I rhymed. And hey, Moonstone grew to level 30, which is pretty sweet. The first level 30 Pokemon on the team. Proud of Moonstone. Hashtag proud. So yeah, let's go. We got a couple more people to fight. Pretty excited about it. What does this guy say? Does he say, I went home first? I am storing thick fat. This guy said he's storing thick fat. Glenn was the fattest person on Big Brother 18. Just, just let that sink in. This game predicted Big Brother 18. Why am I talking about a show nobody cares about except me and Chase? Anyways, let's go. Oh, what do you have to say? What do you have to say? I'm not going to fight you, though, with Moonstone. <laughs> <laughs> I pushed the X to open the menu and then I hit A but I didn't realize that all I do is close my dowsing machine it's okay he'll die that's the hand of Moonstone I suppose if Moonstone dies here that will be the worst way oh my god what do you have a girder Oh, dear lord, help me. 
Level 25! I didn't even get the heal Moonstone. And Moonstone's gonna die! Maybe we're faster. I'll just go for Moonlight. Yeah, you're not gonna do anything, bro, Han. Unless they've got, like, Rock Throw. Like, that would be so unfortunate. I meant to switch out, and this shenanigans happens. Whatever, we're fully healed. I'm just gonna sight. Actually, I'm not gonna sight. I'm gonna put him to sleep. This thing can <gasps> Chip away! That's gonna ignore the Eevee Light, does it? No, it doesn't. We're good. I miss... If he crits me with Chip away. Okay. I'm just panicking hard, because Moonstone wasn't supposed to fight right now. I, re I love him. I rely on Moonstone. I believe in him. He's weak. Let's be real. He's the worst teammate we have. Because he's not evolved yet. Once he evolves, he's going to be at the top percentage of Musharna's. Musharna. Wow. Moonstone took that thing on 1 HP from full health. That's crazy. Mind-blowing. Like, I don't get it. Moonstone, when you evolve into Musharna, you are going to dumpster things so hard. Crazy. Okay, now we'll put him up front. So, uh, the air conditioning came on right now. It's no big deal. It was kind of hot in here anyways. So, if you hear that, that's why. Um, Shamrock can fight. There's no, not been any ice types. We should be cool. Shamrock is the lowest level on the team, but Shamrock should be able to take down a lot of Pokemon in the gym. So, we should be okay with that. Um, is there hidden items in here? There's not. Right, let's fight him. He has a Pan Sage and a Timber. The best trainer of the ice type Pokemon in the cold storm. My face! I just said, nobody in here has ice types! The best trainer ice type Pokemon in here is me! I have a vanilla! I ah! I just said, nobody in here has ice type Pokemon! Shamrock should be cool! Complete and utter disgust. Vanilla, don't even look at me like that. Put your ice cream in your eyes and blind yourself. What? That's cold. Yeah. <laughs> get, you guys get it? You in, you in there? Tapping my microphone saying, are you in there? You get it? Get it? Get it? It's cold? It's an ice cream cone. <laughs> no, but Umber should be able to take this on. Let's just return. <laughs> Sorry, this ice cream is no good. I need to return it to the store. <laughs> eh? This guy has a timber. Everybody has a timber! <sighs> Why? At least Shamrock's gonna get some use in this fight. Now watch this timber have, like, ice punch just because of this guy's different. Nothing makes you special, Patton Oswalt. Nothing. Nothing! Yeah, we're just gonna seed him. We're good. I would love it if this thing had ice punch just for the suspense. It'd be hilarious. It would be the funniest thing that's happened the entire game. Except, you know. You know what my library has? That yours doesn't have! <laughs> Let's see. No, but we are gonna take this timber out. Low kick? You're gonna low kick my snake? It doesn't have any legs. Wait, it does have legs. Come back to me in nine levels, please. Just come back. Come back. It's okay. Come back to me nine levels. If, if she's still here, that is. Because I can't evolve Shamrock into a superior until after Skyla. So, because the level limit for Skyla is 35. i got a long ways to go to break that starter curse, but I'm going to try my hardest. Here is an ice heal. Really? Who uses ice heals? Did you drop this? Because you're going to get freeze. Burned. No. All right, yeah, let's just... We need an ice type gym leader who says you better have ice heal. Get it? Get it? Get it? Because it, cause it, cause it burns? <laughs> no. Alright, let's just go ahead and use a Moo Moo Milk on... Yeah, sure. Let's use it on Shamrock. Get the health back. This guy has a Pan Sage. I'm calling it right now. There's no way that they got a Pan Seer and a Pan Pour. And somebody doesn't have a Pan Sage. This guy's cold. I know he doesn't have a Pan Seer. I know he doesn't have a Pan Pour who can scald him. He's got to have a Pan Sage. Ryan! Ryan has a Timber. That's fine with me. I don't care about your timber. You have three Pokemon. Something's telling me you have three timber. I'm not going to be very happy about it. Let's just go ahead and go growth. We're going growth! Yes, yes, yes! You're going to bide, Brahan? 
Brohan, Brohan, what are you gonna do with your life? Nothing! You're weak, Timber! Get ready for it, guys. I'm going growth! Eh? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Danny Phantom? He's a phantom. I, I knew doing that was gonna get my dog barking. Guys, kill me. I'm done. Should I quit YouTube? Just tell me. Tell me if I should get off of the site. I'm garbage. Did he even unleash his energy yet? I don't care. I'm going to go growth one more time. Yeah, I thought so. Crap. That's fine. I should be able to dumpster truck him right here. Yeah, he's so dumpstered. There's no survival. You know, like in those cartoons when you beat them up and then you see them thrown in the dumpster? That's my definition of the dumpster truck. Like, that's what it... Oh, fuck. Everything has a banana light! Come on. I'm gonna outspeed unless I miss. Yes. Yes. Thank you for not making me regret that decision. I appreciate it. Okay, what else do you have, lady? Nobody has a pan sage. Hey, I guess I'm not the only one that hates Silen, right? Everybody type Silen sucks in the chat, please. Alright, let's leave Tornado. See you later, Timber Bub. Timber Bub. You're done. And the Shamrock's gonna grow level 28, which makes me very proud. I'm very proud of Shamrock. He's she's done a really good job. Once learned slam. How about no? That's such a bad move. So bad. You give me that after I'm able to buy return. Do you even think, bro? Do you even think? Ooh, what's this? Never melt ice. Hyper potion. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going. Who's gonna fight me? Who's gonna fight me? Down here, I know is the never melt ice. Wait, is there not a never melt ice? Well, yeah. It's in there. It's in here. Can you knock this down? That'd be so cool. What's in here? Wait. There's a whole bunch of Team Plasma guys. There. That's right. There's Team Plasma dudes. Team Plasma dudes. All right. Let's do it with. Sure, I could fight with Sky. I have any problem with that. Sky can do it. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Let's go inside of here. Sharon, you did nothing. You followed me. Nobody's in there, Sharon. Nobody's in there. Just to stay out of here. I don't even like you. I got this, bro. I don't need your help. Sharon's all like, I'm going to follow you in anyway. Look at all these guys. All you huddle around me. I can't take this cold. They're inside of the ice box. And they're wondering why it's cold. Dude, that's like me hiding in a volcano. Dude, that'd be a great sun and moon thing. The guys run inside the volcano because you had it. It's on the, it's on the island. But yeah, we got to fight all these Team Plasma grunts. Violet, take each other side. Yeah. So I'm going to fight the guys on this side. I'm going to fight the guys right here. And I'm going to start right now. I'm one of the tougher members of Team Blasma. Well, is that because I was supposed to fight you last? Because I'm a rebel. I went to the other side. I was like, I'm not starting right here, Charon. Get a grip on life. Grunt, what are you going to have? A sand aisle? Really? Sand aisle? That's it? Bro! I fought sand aisles like three episodes ago. I don't need you. Oh, boy. What if they have a Dwebble? I'm so done with this game if they've got a Dwebble. Whatever. I'm just going to return it to the store because I don't want it. should return that joke to the store because it's old. <laughs> That's good. That's good, right? I think it's good. It's a good one. It's a good way to use a joke that is old. It's kind of like recycling a joke. I just wish Sky knew recycle so I could make a pun out of it. But I'm not allowed to do that. Because nobody learns recycle. So, yeah. Great job, Sky. You're level 29. That guy was the tougher grunt. That was the tougher grunt. Bro. Oh, yeah. You lost because of the cold. You baby. Fight, lady. Yeah, I finally get to call him by the correct gender. And I'm not just assuming. I am I see it. So, wait. That's completely... Going against what I just said. Never mind. This girl has a trubbish. Should I do it, guys? Should I make the iconic joke? Sky, I'm lazy. It's not currently Wednesday. But take out the trash anyways, please. Just return it. Huh? I had to get that in there somehow, right? Yeah, take out the trash. See you later, Sky. I had to do it. It's Maryland's thing, but come on. Come on. Who doesn't make take out the trash joke when they're taking out a trubbish? Back in my day, we burned trash. Not really. 
but in my dad's house you burn the trash. So I wish I had like a fire debit deck so I could burn it. How you hanging up, Sharon? I take I'm t I'm doing it. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me, Sharon. I'm gonna do it. For this group, I'm pretty strong. I hope you know that. Well, if you're anything like your brethren, I I can assure you you are definitely not strong. Just say this girl has one Pokemon. It's a Lyperd. That's the strongest thing I've seen yet. But I'm gonna dumpster it. One shot. Let's make a bet. I'll kill my I'll kill my Tranquil if I can't take you out in one shot. Guaranteed. I'll kill it right now. I would never do that. Just 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 go with it. See? I'm gonna hit you with a turn. I I'll, I'll do it, I'll kill my tranquil. I knew I would call his bluff. I got this. Alright, great. Fight. thanks for the fight. See, I made him put his hit put his guard down. Because he thought I was gonna kill my Pokemon. I made him weak. Weaker than he already is. Wait. After I said I got the genders right. I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm done. No more commentary rest of the video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'm kidding. Alright, this guy's a watchdog! This is the strongest guy! Are you kidding? Whatever. This guy's got a watchdog. I'll kill you watchdog one hit. Give me a dollar if I kill it one hit. You'll give me more than a dollar. Let's be real. You give me like... Oh boy! I didn't even take it out in one hit. Sky, you're slacking. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. I know it's Super Fang, but it caught me off guard. I didn't realize it was Super Fang until after it had hit me. Sketchy. Well, anyway, Sky grew to level 30, which is really cool. Awesome. And Scraggy. Well, I can't fight that with Midnight, so... Dude, this thing could kill me. That's actually kind of scary. How many are you item number one? I'm going to use a Moomoo Milk just in case. I don't think I can take it out in one hit with Return. It's pretty bulky. Air Cutter is going to do less than Return would. Alright, uh, we did a good thing. It would have killed me with Payback for sure. Double damage, so. I'm going to work up. Because if I hit it with Return and it hits me with Payback, that'll kill me. But if I don't actually attack it and I use Work Up instead, Return should one-shot it. <gasps> That's going to kill Sky! Oh, God. That could have if it was a crit. I get very worried. You guys know me. All right. I should be able to take it out in one hit now. Please? Please, I'm plus one. Okay. Holy crap. That was actually really terrifying. If it went there, it would have killed me. Scraggy is really strong, and it's bulky, so you need to be really careful around those things for sure. They can come out of nowhere and just destroy somebody. Especially when they start getting high jump kick. So, you might want to be careful about that if you're playing along. Oh, man. So, here comes Clay with his workers. They're going to be the police force of Leadra Fail City. Move them all now! Weed them out! I had to make a, I had to make a Spongebob joke. Let's be real. I know somebody in the comments is going to be pretty happy about that one. I know somebody is. You know who you are! Yeah. We're going to weed them all out. It kind of looks like the area where you get in Spongebob where you... Weed him out. Remember, you guys? Remember that part in the movie? Sharon remembers that part in the movie. He's... Really? Waste of oxygen? And you're better? Disgrace. No, is there any hidden items here? There's not, but there's a Nevermelt Ice. I finally got it right! Yes! Alright, we got the Nevermelt Ice. We can return it to the Queen of Azeroth. I don't even know what Azeroth is, but I was just making it like we've got a big story going on. And, yeah. Pretty great time to end it off, I think. Not really. I'm kind of cold. We need to warm up a bit, you know? You need to warm up to the idea of something, and I need to warm up to the idea of ending this video, because that was a pretty fun time. Pretty fun time? What do you guys think? Was it a fun time? You don't want me to end it? Let's fight Clay right now? Ha! Dream on! Yeah! In the next episode, we will be taking on Clay, the fifth gym leader of the Unova region. Wait, will we be taking on Clay? Yeah, we should. That's gonna be crazy. Clay? Are we gonna mold him? Are we gonna... Are we gonna... Funny story! Wait, wait, wait. I didn't get into this before we end all the video. I had a friend named Gavin. And we, I was at his house one day and we were playing Pokemon. And he had this friend come over and his name was Clay. And I was a little boy and I didn't know what the name Clay was. And I was just like, Your name is Clay? Are you gonna mold yourself? And I was being all mean. Because I was younger and I was stupid. I'm not really mean. I, I was nice to him. We had, we had a good time. But it was funny because I would never heard of the name before. And... It's funny, because all these years later, 
he became a gym leader. I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this video, like, it's appreciated, helps a great deal, and you want to see more Pokemon wedlocks, feel free to subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time when we mold him.